Feels good to be back in Sweden though. Nice! I'm Victor White, Barbados' first winter sports athlete competing in free skiing. Right now I'm on a journey to take Barbados to the Winter Olympics in February 2018. This is my life and my road to Pyeongchang 2018 in Korea. $200 airplane seat review. I'm leaving Barbados. First flight from Miami was about four hours. Slept the whole way up early this morning. And right now it's a nine hour flight to Oslo and then from Oslo it's like a two or three hour, one or two hour flight to Sweden. I have a long day ahead of me. This is a pretty good seat because I got a lot of like foot space in front of me. It's nice. Not, not like business but it'll do. This is my first, this is a review of SAS economy class. I don't have, I can't afford to fly business, so. <laughs> Good thing is I, I'm flying a used ticket from Miami to uh, Sweden, so it's only about 200 US dollars, which is very cheap. I always order gluten-free food because I don't eat wheat. This looks pretty good, actually. Uh, some of this, gluten-free bread, bam, bam. This doesn't look that good, though. The good thing with these seats, like right in front of the exit, is you have a lot of foot space, no one in front of you. I like that. And also a really good thing is the tilty, tilty flippy screen. This is very nice. Other than that, it's just standard economy seat. I just realized this flying thing is boring anyway, and it's like... So I'm just gonna send it straight to Victor in Sweden. Feels good to be back in Sweden though. Nice! It's gonna be a hectic couple of days. I'm only here for eight days, something like that. Gonna get some stuff in order. Um, 21 hours of traveling. I have a four and a half hour car ride up north because I have a meeting with the bank. It's for my company. It's gonna be a be a nice one. And yeah, it's it's summer here in Sweden. Last time I left, it was the weather was pretty shitty. So it's it's really beautiful in Sweden during the summer. I forgot how how nice it is. Boom! Car key. So the meeting is like in northern Sweden, no, not northern Dalarna. So it's a, it's a four and a half drive, four and a half hour drive. I'm gonna have to do it in three. Luckily for me, I got mom's little race car. And yeah, that's the thing. Like here they drive on the other side of the road, on the, on the right side of the road. So it's a little bit different, a little bit scary, but yeah, I'm gonna have to readjust quickly. I'm gonna have to, to drive fast now, so enjoy the B-roll. I hate refueling, it's so expensive. But I know this road, I went to school up there, so I know where drive um, Lidl and where, where you can go a little bit fast. Not, not driving too fast though, not over the speed limit. Kind of like a trip down memory lane. This place right here is very special to me in my heart. When my dad passed away, and I and me and my mom went back back up north, we stopped here for like a kind of a memorial thing or or what you could call it. Because I something like when you f you know being close to nature and yeah, very beautiful. This is timing. I'm rolling into the bank meeting. 2.25 and the meeting starts at 2.30. I planned it good. Now it's business time. In here doing million dollar beat deals. Straight from Barbados. <laughs> so fun fact, this town where I'm at right now, Malung, is where I attended ski academy, the free ski academy, whatever you call it, between the age of 16 to 19. Unfortunately, I tore my ACL like in the middle of the second year, so I missed out on a lot of the skiing and all of that stuff. But first, I have to go and get some office material. Tack för hjälpen. Always good to have like good control of everything. Because when you need something, it's nice to know where it is and have control over it, rather than like getting a headache 
for not being organized. That's my old apartment. It's one of my best friend William's old apartment. This is the old free ski headquarters. Shout out to the athlete gymnasium. This is the academics building. This is the plant training ground. This is the ice rink. This is where we did physio tests. This is where we drift the car. This is also where we used to drift car. This is the campus rail arena. That's my first year apartment. Yeah, that's kind of it. I would say the fun thing with moving away when you're 16, and especially to like a small, small village like Malung, is that it's kind of lawless here and you could do whatever you want. Uh, and you have to learn like self-responsibility. The boring thing is like, because it's so small, everyone knows everything. Like the teachers literally knew everything that was going on. But <laughs> to be honest, we didn't care about that. I actually built a snow cave for my, when I turned 17. My friend took the max, took the, the initiative to build like a huge snow cave where we had the party because we were underage and we weren't allowed to party on campus. So we were like, oh, we had a lot of snow that year. So like, oh yeah, damn it, we, we'll, we'll build our own party party place. So, and that, that was crazy. The good thing with me getting injured was that I felt I felt like, okay, so I have a t ACL injury, that's like 12 months a year rehab. So I've, I'm like, okay, should I be here in this small town not doing anything or should I actually do something? So I started doing events, started doing a like commentating and that's actually how I started my first company. So that was like really good um, and learning all that. Like I got, the, I got a business sense of mind rather than like only being a <laughs> I'm back. Just to explain, this is winter base camp. This is where my mom and Keith live during the winter time when they're not on the island. Over here, that's a resort. 15 minutes that way, we have Sweden's best snow park. I can ski and also spend time with my family, which is which is very nice. Yeah, but like most of my time, I spend it on the island, June, July. This year, because it's the Olympic year, I have to go train, go back training earlier. So that's why I only spent like half of May and then June on Barbados. I understand if, if, if like this day was crazy and I'm gonna take you through it, look. I woke up here, 12 o'clock Central European time and that's Thursday. I then caught a flight from here to here from Barbados, Miami was 4.5 hours. And then from Miami, I had to catch a flight all the way over to Europe. How, how, how does Europe look? I had to fly all the way to here, about nine hours. I arrive in Norway, Friday. Flight from Norway, Sweden was a little bit delayed. Sorry for my very, very, very poor illustration skills. I got to the flight, but my baggage got lost. One hour flight. And the thing is, when I got to Sweden, Stockholm, somewhere around here, I left 11 o'clock. I then drove drove to here, near where Dalarna, where I am now. 4.5 hour drive, because I had a meeting. From Dalarna, it's another 40 minutes to Salan. And right now, I have to drive all the way down here, about five hours. It's been a long day, you see, and I'm gonna end the vlog on that note. Four and a half hour drive turned into a... I'm not gonna say, but um, I'm nearly there.